Hey folks, it's Friday, June 19th, about 12 o'clock Mountain Time, 2015. Stick with me through this one. It gets really interesting. Uh, just a quick update on the ionosphere. I did a video yesterday about these anomalous readings uh, being returned from the northern hemisphere of the entire globe. Um, that's still showing signs of extreme energy from where? I don't know. It's not the sun. Typically, what we see here um, on this instrument is solar wind um, and nothing else, to the best of my knowledge. That is not solar wind. That's something different. Um, and it doesn't look to be an anomaly. I'm not going to buy that anymore. We have these instruments in place to show us things like this because we do know that there is a chance it could happen. We don't just have them to watch solar flares and CMEs hit Earth. They're there for more than just that. We've seen that time and time and time again. This is Earth showing us that there's a problem in space. Something new other than the traditional solar wind. This is just my theory, okay? You're not going to read this anywhere in, in the mainstream. This is just me thinking out loud because I don't believe that this is um, a glitch. This is accurate information. And it's telling me that there's something going on in space. Um, we just can't see it yet. Earth, however, can feel it. Something um, led me to Alaska. I'm looking at this and I'm like, let's go to Alaska. I have no idea why. Actually, I wanted the North Pole. I wanted to look at the weather conditions for the North Pole. But when I typed it in, it came up North Pole, Alaska. I'm like, okay, cool. And I looked at it, I'm like, man, another glitch. This has to be a glitch. Let me take you a little closer here. Do you see that? 87 degrees F, that's Fahrenheit, for North Pole, Alaska, today. 84 tomorrow, 83 Sunday, 85 Monday, 85 Tuesday. What? So I'm like, okay, this, this has to be major mainstream news. Ah, Jeb, yes. Bubba, of course. Strange sale on eBay. Um, talking about some ice cream and we keep running this cirrus um, anomaly in the ground. Then I go over to Matt Drudge and his infinite wisdom. I'm thinking, surely he's going to tell the world it's 87 degrees in North Pole, Alaska. Let's see. Nah, not a thing. Everything but. Yeah. You are talking about the robots, though, aren't you, Drudge, that are going to take over Walmart? Sure. Five-day forecast for North Pole, Alaska, mid-80s. Currently, right now in Anchorage, it's 66 degrees. Let's look at the records. Ah, more glitches? Nah, surely not. North Pole, Alaska. Highest temperature, 2015, 32F. That's Fahrenheit. 14, 21, on and on and on. Did get up to 55 back in 2009. So guys, I'm just trying to put the pieces to this puzzle together because it's very obvious that there's something going on in space. We're just not being told about it. Um, for it to be 87 degrees in Alaska is completely insane. I, I don't know how else to put it. It almost makes me feel like, okay, the Earth has tilted, brought Alaska down into the 50-degree latitude, you know, into to this area, <laughs> um, and put where I'm at down here in the, in the desert down a little farther, because it is way more humid. I almost feel like I'm in the subtropics anymore. But, oh, no, 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 that's not the case. Earth has not moved one micrometer. No, I, I completely understand that. Its axis is at 23.6, of course. This is climate change, and it's my fault. But let me see if they're talking about 87 degrees in Alaska. No, no, uh, no, no, nothing at all. Wow, that should be galactic news, man. So should this, to be honest with you, but it's going to be dismissed as a glitch. Now, there's something going on with our space weather 
Something in the cosmos has changed and is changing, and it's causing climate change. Not me and you. Something in space. Earth is screaming at you, trying to tell you that it feels the presence of something. Another form of energy other than its traditional cosmic dance with the sun. There's a third party that's interfering, so the Earth is telling us in the form of what appears to be anomalous readings on the ionosphere, on the global scale, and it's not. That's what it's feeling. Earthquakes, volcanoes, weather extremes from droughts to floods to huge amounts of snow to extreme warms, extreme colds. It's telling you it's feeling something in space. It's, it's that simple. What it's feeling? I don't know. All I can tell you guys is that today it's going to be 87 degrees in North Pole, Alaska. And we're not talking about it anywhere.